I had this gut feeling that we were onto something huge. I never knew how big it was actually going to be. It, it just ran away from all of us. It just, it was a beast. The Williamsburg restaurant is serving up comfort food with a delicious twist. The three cheese macaroni buns at the Bedford are a feast for the eyes and the palate. My name is Sean Rawlinson. I'm the owner of the Bedford Restaurant and Bar. We've seen a lot of the big changes that have happened in Williamsburg. When we first started, we were only farm to table, and then we've adjusted now to be more food friendly, fun friendly, gaffer pub style. In the transition, I started playing upon different styles of burgers, and then we started doing a Scotch egg burger. And Scotch egg burger, which was a Scotch egg with a burger in between it, is what really started getting us a little bit more notice on the social media fronts, and it sort of got us into that mindset of looking at social media as a way to improve the business. It's the idea of what could we take to the next level. And our mac and cheese at the time was a big seller. And I was like, why don't we take this and put it with the burger? Me and my social media consultant talked about how to best present the dish. My name is Jared Zuckerman. I own Food in City. We are a brand development and media marketing company focused on social media and influencer marketing. The first thing we worked on together was the mac and cheese burger. The style of it came pretty quickly. It was more the flavor profile that took a long time. We went back and forth a little bit. What blends of cheese worked best? The right texture. What spice level worked best? The right cheese consistency so when you bit you had a nice cheese pull. That was probably the most delicate part. I always want it to taste good and look as best as possible. It was very important to make sure that people understood it was an experience and that we're not going to share gimmicks. The flavor profile is going to be sophisticated even if it's social media forward. So by showing the experience people can have at the Bedford was a huge piece and component to be able to then debut the mac and cheese burger. So we had a media event first where we invited at least 80 prominent influencers in all different social media platforms to sample what we wanted to launch. Literally the day after the media event, it had a mind of its own. The areas we were targeting were obviously the US, major foodie cities all over the world. And those people from all those major cities from all over the world are literally coming in asking for the mac and cheese burger. It's amazing because it's not just like my target audience. It's a wide, wide spectrum of who is coming in for this. You knew it was really doing well when you have people from foreign countries coming in who don't speak English, but they open their phone and they point to it. That's when you know something has gone viral. It's changed our business. We've scaled it to a point where it is the number one seller and it, it's still the, probably the number one course requested item we have on the menu. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.